here is uh, John trying to worship an angel. You know, a lot of us, I think if we see an angel, I think it's just that fear that we know we're in the presence of something supernatural that we automatically want to get on our knees and worship it. When a lot of us, you know, get on our knees and and worship a man sometimes because we're afraid of his authority or the power or your boss, whatever, and you should never do that. The only person you should get down on your knees every day is Jesus Christ. Don't worship. Even this angel is telling John, don't get on your knees. He said, I'm going to read it again. It says, um, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. And we've been reading this and it's been saying that Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. It's saying worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So it's okay for us to worship Jesus. Because that's what this says. It's okay to worship Jesus. Worship Jesus Christ. Worship the Father. You know. Uh, it's saying it's okay for us to worship Jesus Christ. We won't get in trouble if we bow down on our knees and worship Jesus. God the Father won't be mad at us because that's what this says. And then uh, Revelation 5. Oh, Revelation 5. Revelation uh, 5. This is a long one, so uh, I'm going to read this from verse 1 through the 14. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor on in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book. Neither to look therein. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps. And golden veils full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and has redeemed us to God by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts, and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand, and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain, to receive power, and riches, and wisdom, and strength, and honor, and glory, and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven, and on earth, the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in in them heard I saying blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb forever and ever and the four beasts said amen and the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever our Lord Jesus Christ that is so cool. Well, brothers and sisters, um,
it was an honor for me to share this with you. Um, I think the the followers of Jesus Christ um, should always be willing to share what they learn about their Lord and Savior. I don't think Jesus wants us to keep that to ourselves. I'm the type of person that I can ask a pastor a million questions and I'll never be satisfied. I think that's how we should all be at our churches, you know, willing to ask the pastors anything that might be in our hearts, our mind, you know. If they might not have all the answers, but they might be able to help you in the way they can and maybe direct you to the person that has the answers, you know. And all, all fingers point back to Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter who helps you. He gave us this word right here. You know, it's it's very valuable to the ones that that want everlasting life. You know, he gave us his word. You know, if. If Jesus knew he was going to come and crucify himself and, you know, everyone that knew him, like, knows that there's a God and anyone that, that, uh, you know, went to church on a regular basis, you know, if he knew that. Why Why would he leave us his word still? You know, why would he leave us his word if he knew he was going to come and die and, you know, because before I started going to church, I already knew that a God existed. You know, I already knew God was there. You know, I knew Jesus was there, you know. I only went to church a handful of times and then I went, stopped for a long time, I went again and then I stopped for a long time and now I started going again to church. And I thought that was enough for me to get to heaven, just knowing that God is there, you know, just knowing that he's there, I thought was enough, but I hadn't repented of any of my sins, I hadn't. Read his word, which is not going to save you reading his word. Uh, and not by just knowing him is going to save you either. And I hadn't asked him to adopt me into his family, you know. But I thought that once I died, I was going automatically to heaven. Because first of all, I haven't killed no one. I don't... I I have, like... Taking a couple things that weren't mine that I knew weren't mine and, you know, but to say that, oh, I went and did this or that, you know, no, but, you know, but even those little things that are not yours and you take them from somebody else, you're breaking one of the commandments right there. And I thought, well, I haven't murdered anybody. I don't really steal from other people. Um, I thought that was enough for me to get to heaven and thank God he came and rescued me when he did because I would have had a big wake up call when I died. And he leaves us his word so we can get to know him the best way we can living on this earth. The best way we can. And, um... Saying that, I thank you very much for taking the time and watching this video. I hope I hope you learned something new. I hope the Lord was was using me to speak whatever it is He wanted me to tell you. And 
God bless you. And remember that Jesus Christ loves you very, very much. And with that, I say goodbye. God bless you. And I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.